Blessed, blessed, good day. Welcome to Miss Tamari Daily Mood Podcast Live. Blessed love to you. Yes, you is watching me right now. I hope everything is good with you. Yes, you are watching me. You may talk. I hope everything is okay with you and your family. And if everything is fine, you know, just keep on trusting, keep on believing, keep a positive mindset. You know, just keep on persevering, keep on pushing forward, right? Keep on staying strong right yes both mentally physically psychologically and emotionally right yes and just keep on trusting the process you know and keep on hoping for the best right yes money if you hope for the best right yeah man because once there is life there is always a hope once there is life there is purpose for you right yes so just keep on pushing forward and staying positive and strong I want to say one love shout out to all the people living in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, people living in the Middle East, people living in India, people living in the Caribbean islands. One love to each and every one. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't know who is watching me right now, Jehovah God, but you know them, Father. I pray, Jehovah God, that you guide them day by day, Father. Father Jehovah God, if they're feeling sick right now, oh God, I pray for divine healing over their lives and in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I decree and I declare blessings on top of blessings in their life, Father. Father Jehovah God, I pray, God, that you guide their steps day by day in the name of Jesus. Fill their household with your divine love and your divine peace of mind. Jehovah God, I know we are imperfect people. Forgive us of our sins in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yes, amen indeed. Welcome to Miss Tamari Daily Mood Podcast Live. And today, Daily Mood topic is Speak It. Yes, Speak It. That's our Daily Mood for today. And it says, You see, I was sick for a couple of days. This is a testimony. I was sick for a couple of days and I was lying in bed, couldn't move, couldn't do nothing really for myself. You know, and while I was lying on my back, looking up in the ceiling, you know, I couldn't take the feeling of being sick anymore. I couldn't take the feeling of not being able to do what I need to do for myself. I couldn't take the pain. You know, I refuse it. I refuse the pain. I refuse to be being able to be sick, you know, feeling sick. I refuse it. So I get up and I started praying. Yes, I started praying. And I started touching my body while I praying and demanding healing over my body. Right? Yes, I start demanding healing over my body right yes i started declaring healing over my body right health over my body you know right and then when i looked beside me i saw my son because he was feeling sick too and i started touching up my son and praying over my son you understand and declaring healing over my son i may mean, tell you jehovah god did work in my life i did receive my healing my son did receive in healing yeah i prayed to god i said god I want my son to wake up and say he want food for eat because he could eat for two days, could eat, just lying there, not take nothing, right? Yeah, he could have barely drinking water, right? And I start praying over my son and declaring healing over my son. I may tell you, it did manifest by the precious blood of Jesus. It did manifest, right? Yeah, man, but what, what this is to say to somebody out there, if you're in a, any kind of situation, whether a sick situation or any difficult situation, get up and speak life over yourself. Speak healing over yourself. Speak blessings over yourself. Speak peace and love in your life if that's what you want. You got to speak it, you know. Yeah, you got to speak the things them that you want in your life. You got to speak it, man, and take action, right? Yeah, man. You see, your mouth has power in it. Yes, you who is watching me right now, this message is for you. Your mouth have power in it, right? Yes, what you say, right? 
is what you get. What you do is what you get. Right? Yes, so sons and daughters, this message is for you. Right? Yes, say to that mountain, move, and definitely a mountain will move. Right? Speak it like it is. Say it like you mean it. Do it like you're moving. Right? Your words has power in it. Your words have power in it. Right? Your words have meaning in it spiritually. Right? You are both the co believer of your reality. Right? First believe. Right? You can. Right? And you will definitely do it. Right? You have to first believe it. Say it like it already exists. Right? And Je with Jehovah God approval, it will manifest. Yes? I have to get God approval. With God approval, it will definitely manifest into your reality. Speak it and do it with faith. It becomes real in the physical. Yes, you have to speak it, man. Speak it like it is. Say it like you mean it. Say it like you want it. Right? If you want healing, say it over yourself. If you're sick, start declaring healing over your body. Touch up your body, man. Touch up your body and tell God where you want. You want healing in your body. Tell Jehovah God where you want and he will do it. Right? Speak it like you mean it and touch with physicalness. Right? Yes, with physicalness. Right? Touch up your body. Right? Yeah, man, touch up your body, man, and declare healing over your life, man. Yeah, man, Jesus already give you the key of life, you know. And Jesus give you the key of life, right? He already give you the key of life, right? Speak it like you mean it. Say it like you mean it, and it will definitely manifest because your power, your power, right, is in your words, what you say out of your mouth has power in it. Your mouth has power in it. So speak it like it is. I have a scripture and it comes from Proverbs 18 verse 21. That's Proverbs 18 verse 21. And it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Those who love to use it will eat its fruitage. Yes, so what is the scriptures of Proverbs 18 verse 21 is saying to us? It is saying to us, the tongue is like a fire. Yeah, your tongue is like a fire. You, you know, your words is like fire. Your words is like fire, you know. Yeah, like flames of fire. Your, your, your words that you speak out of your mouth, it's like fire right so it have meaning to it right it have righteousness in it if it you use it for positiveness right yes man so speak it like you mean it i want you to read the scriptures of proverbs 18 verse 21 for yourselves i'm also going to read mark 11 verse 23 that's mark 11 verse 23 and it says truly i say to you that whoever tells this mountain be lifted up and throw into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but has faith that what he says is going to happen he will have it happen yes so what is the scriptures of mark 11 verse 23 is saying to us it is saying to us right that you see whatever things you pray and ask jehovah god for with faith you will definitely receive it yes you will receive it with faith action supplication what you will definitely re receive it so speak it like it is say it like you mean it believe it like you truly really want it to happen and it will definitely manifest right yeah man you have to speak the things them that you want to happen in your life and it will definitely happen i have another scripture it come from matthew 21 verse 22 and it says and all the things you ask in prayer having faith you will receive yes so what is the scriptures of matthew 21 verse 22 is saying to us 
it is saying to us you see even if you say to the mountain move the mountain will definitely move because you're, you're saying it you're believing it and you're taking action definitely it will move out of your life you have to speak it like you mean it say it like you mean it you know do it like you believe right you already receive it and you will definitely receive it by the hands of jehovah god because guess what jesus already give us the key of life he already give us the key of life you who is watching me right now this message is for you you have the key of life already jesus already give you the key of life speak it like you mean it say it like you mean it do it with action and you will definitely receive it yes so if you who is watching me right now and you're feeling ill and you need your body to be healed you have to speak it you have to speak life over your body speak life over yourself declare it right touch up your body if you have to and speak healing over your body and with faith and supplication you will receive it right yes you will receive it this message is for you yes you is watching me right now i want you to read it read write down these scriptures yes you is watching me right now proverbs 18 verse 21 mark 11 verse 23 matthew 21 verse 22 take those scriptures and read it for yourself and meditate on those scriptures and apply it in your life yes you is watching me right now this message is for you take those scriptures read them meditate on them right yes because god speak to us through his word which come from the bible right yes i pray you have a blessed day and may the good lord bless each and everyone one love thank you